go help the stranger. I must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! Perfect. Target Incendio. Ooh, leg. This is a fast way to get you oh, 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 oh. there. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Collections of your field and a good deal of a new enemy type. Perhaps some nice flowers. Take us off the most. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, Doctor, you'll take this. This is a drop of my dead body. You can't hold out forever. Stay good. Cowards. Going behind. Child. Tell her who to find himself. Not today. That's the best tool. Release me. Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Yeah, that land kind of messed me up. Are a you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders. Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. 
Okay. Where the hell Natty went? This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Mullins beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Right. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and incendio. <laughs> Rebellion. All right, so we did a trial. in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Portrait in our common room wants to talk.
Sorry, portrait, what the hell? You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits hear more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Mm. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy good mystery. Glad to hear you're up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great-niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. Right away. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Me. I need to get through there anyway. Got a bunch of gear to sell. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, sir. Us, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit hard. This is no... This is no talking to him at the moment. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? 
plenty to choose from here, so take your time. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Have to sell some of this stuff. I wish they let you like rank it. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I'm gonna assume that they're not gonna. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I can buy some of this stuff. The main thing I need is the damn scarf. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Oh, look, Gucci. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Protego! Turn this on stuff on. There's... Roman. Wrong button. I gotta speak to Helen Thistlewood. Hogsmeade, here. here I come. Why was the book going backwards? Oh, 
No, not that I think about it. I wonder if you're gonna be some more of those, uh, what do you call them? Ash waters. Ash waters. Ash waters, or whatever those henchmen were called. I wonder if you're gonna be more of them. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Revelio. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Okay, uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And do you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment.
Oh, and we're here. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought... I'd ask a ban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. If I had my heart, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, young cur. They teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. All around the darkness, my only friend, my only hope. No one at school is going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Let me as disrespectful as possible. You are. Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in a boggy field. <laughs> Why must you be so cryptic? Uh, do I be an asshole to her? Do I be an asshole to her? Oh, man. I don't even think it matters. Let's try though. Let's see if being an asshole has its benefits. We can't even say it right now. So. I think I understand. What are you trying to say? That the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, hogs, fields, fields, ruins, house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins. Near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, no, you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... Damn. What's she getting? But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. <laughs> 